Howdy everybody, and welcome to the next exciting chapter of Dreams of Infinity. I am Matthew R. Dawson, your friendly neighborhood host and game master and magic keeper for this campaign. And joining me around my virtual table tonight are Ashleyan, Hannah, John, Kira, and Los. Say hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi. You're so good at that. Now, before we begin, we do have a few announcements to get through, starting with the first of our two sponsors for tonight's show, HeroForge. HeroForge offers fully customizable tabletop minis with dozens of fantasy species and thousands of parts to choose from. Their easy-to-use design tool lets you build your perfect miniature online using a fully 3D in-depth character creator right in your web browser, which is where we built the tokens for this game. You can build yours today at HeroForge.com. Our second sponsor for tonight's show is XSplit. XSplit is a high-quality virtual webcam background remover that works with your already existing webcam. Using this program, you can protect your privacy while you work or play remotely by blurring the background, removing it entirely, or even putting your favorite picture as the background instead, which is what I do. You can download the app today at xsplit.com, and if you use the coupon code RANDOM with a capital R, you can get 10% off of this purchase. You can find our referral link in the chat and show description. Our next uh, campaign uh, episode is going to be Monday at 7 p.m. Central. We're back with another episode of Aether Shanties, our Sagas campaign. Our team of, um, well, I guess you can call them privateers right now. Uh, the crew of the Wayfinder has a difficult decision to make. Are they going to continue to try to be smugglers? Or are they going to become bounty hunters and start hunting space pirates? Either way, it's going to be hella fun. Now you can keep up to date on our schedule and everything we do here on the network by following us on Facebook as Random Rhapsody TV, on Twitter as at Random underscore Rhapsody, on Blue Sky as Random Rhapsody, and on TikTok as Random Rhapsody underscore TV. And that's going to do it for our announcements. So join us as we return to Europa City and continue on with the Magi-Knights as they investigate the dreams of infinity. know by now how we do the recap. We offer up the random Rapsy coin, which is good for a re-roll during this campaign. If I get the coin by doing the recap, I get to use it in a lot of different crazy ways. I haven't gotten to do this yet, and I'm always hoping that I might be able to. Um, but we'll see. For now, let's go ahead and ask, does anybody want to do the recap this week? Uh, you're muted, but... Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Okay, fair enough. Well, Damian, tell us what happened last time on Dreams of Infinity. Well, I am feeling like Damian, uh, because I'm a little under the weather, so forgive me if I am a little out of it. 
Uh, yeah, last time uh, Damian uh, and the crew were not feeling super hot after pulling an all-nighter uh, after defeating the, the, the monster at the lake uh, and saving those kids. So, you know, we, we all went back to school and uh, struggled through our classes. I took a shower at school. That was nice. Uh, and, you know, made it through a, through a day at school. Uh, fairly uneventful, except for Lacey asking me to help her out with the, uh, with the culture festival, uh, which apparently the ghost hunting club was supposed to be a part of, but now that they're all in comas uh, in the hospital, she has a slot to fill. Um, so I brought it up to the team, and the team said yes. Uh, so we're going to put on a presentation at the, the festival uh, in, a, in a week or two, I think. Um, but you know, there's more pressing matters. Uh, shortly after school, we all decided to, um, hang out together in a way. Uh, the team came and watched my soccer practice, uh, which, you know, I gave it my all despite running on fumes because, you know, as a, as a, what, 18 year old, uh, 17 year old kid got boundless energy, <laughs> unlike, the 38 year old actor playing the kid. Um, and, and, you know, the, the club got a resounding success. People are starting to talk about the soccer team a little bit more, which will be nice when I'm, you know, trying to influence people at school. Um, shortly after soccer practice and a quick shower, we all um, split up to do our investigation phase and uh, John, Kat, and I got some information about uh, Gidham, uh, the development company, and you know their past. Uh, we learned about the bank manager that it used to be a bank manager that got into land development, um, and I learned about Indolence Games. You know some of the information we already knew, the the other games that they had published, um, but we learned more about Polybus and and and. Uh, how much excitement there is for that game. Uh, and then my favorite part of the evening, which I was not present for, but heard all about on, my, on, our, on the communicator, I'm sure, uh, is that uh, Aisha just strolled right up into Get'em Development, asking to be let in to try to earn, uh, to try to be their spokesperson uh, as, as an idol. Um, which went about as well as you can expect. Uh, my, you know, we met my favorite character, uh, Mr. Smith, <laughs> who just said, "Okay, that's not going to happen," <laughs> and turned her turned her away. Um, so we're picking up at the library and outside of of Gidham Business Development. Indeed, we are. Okay, there you go, Damian. There's the random Rapsy coin. Don't forget to use it, though. It's only going to last this session. Yeah. Well, Magionites. It is still technically Thursday, September the 5th. You're getting near the end of your investigation phase, as Damian said. Now, after getting rebuffed by the security guard at Gidham Skyscraper, Aisha and Melody said they wanted to try and hurry over to Laropa Park to see if there's anything new they might be able to discover there. At the same time, um, the rest of the team were discussing, you know, those um, missing kids that they found in the lake and how they could possibly alert the cops to that and um, get them, you know, recovered from the site, give their families some peace of mind and, and fulfill the dying requests of the, or at least the passing requests of the spirits. So with that in mind, um, let's go ahead and have, um, let's have Melody and Aisha both roll investigation phases for me. Right now they are currently um, on the bus making their way to Laropa Park while the rest of the group is gathering together at the library. So while the two of you are making that roll and um, heading off in that direction, Damian, Kat, Salem, what are you planning to do about those, uh, those bodies that you know about?
Well, I think it's pretty simple. All we got to do, get to a payphone, make a call. We're good. It's done. We got this. So, anybody want the honors? We have to call. We have to pretend we're not us because, you know, they won't believe a bunch of kids. No, we don't. It's fine. Listen, we're magic now. Our voices changed. Our faces modulated. We're good. I think it's just letting them know. We'll be all set. We'll be set. I don't know. I think Damian still got his face buried in a in a periodical about indolence <laughs> games. <laughs> Probably just letting Salem and Cat have this conversation. Listen, Cat, trust me. This is this is the easiest thing in the world. You could. You're not even lying. You're just calling and telling them the truth. Hey, I hey, think we were I fighting the... some monsters by the lake, and we found some dead people. <laughs> okay, maybe not that true. Maybe not. Maybe not that <laughs> honest. But uh, love the energy you're bringing. I was like, that got my attention. It's like, oh, cat, honey, come on. We, we used to lie to our parents all the time about what we were doing, right? Like, you, you've lied to your parents Here. before. I know you have. We can we can write this out. Uh, th- I have a lead. The bodies are here. Hang up the phone. Done. Unless you want to peg it on somebody else. We have a whole list of uh, possible people we can, you know, blame. <laughs> it was the janitor. I mean. <laughs> He's a stalker. Get him. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, I don't want to. Sure I don't want to hear our conversation. <laughs> uh, make uh, an investigation check as well, Damian. Okay. Uh, that's a 21. Uh, 21. It does not seem that anyone is nearby. Like, there is the, the lady behind the, the counter at the library that's just, you know, sorting books and that sort of thing, but she isn't even looking in your direction, and you're far enough away that there's no issue. Cool. I think I saw a payphone outside. Uh, I'm going to reach in my pocket and pull out a quarter. Uh, hopefully I had a quarter on me yeah, and slide it to Cat and say, Cat, you've got this. Okay, I'll try, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good at lying. <laughs> Again, you're not lying. You just have to admit some of the truth. You just, you tell the important <laughs> bits and nothing they need to know. You're good. You got this. Well, the ghost talked to us and told us that the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they did. Sure, sure. It's up to you if you're going to tell them or not. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kat, you can do this. <laughs> okay, where is it exactly? It's north of the... The lumber it's mill. It, it, there's a lake the north of the lumber mill. The lumber is it yeah, north, no. east, northwest, just north? I'm pretty sure it was just north. Yeah, pretty much north. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> That's some lake in the up north. Do I say they were killed at the lumber yard? Or I leave that out? Yeah, you don't have to give them any details. You just need to tell them where the bodies are. <clears throat> okay, I'll try. I believe in you. The church did it. Okay. <laughs> no, no details. Salem said no details. You're not there, Melody. You're not. There. I know. I know. <laughs> no meta gaming. It's a new ability. It's a ghost. <laughs> She's listening over the communicator. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, maybe that's possible. You're all si- um, sitting on the bus <laughs> together, listening to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we go outside to the payphone. Cat will try to call the police. Okay, what do I say? What do I say? Um, 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 um. Okay. Well, you go outside, um, and you're dialing 911. Uh, should be like... Could you... Uh, Sorry, uh, could you uh, do that without the, the a quarter back then? I don't, I don't actually I know. I don't remember, to be honest. I never... Yeah, I, know. I, I, might think work. I, I think it just goes through automatically. For I think mm-hmm. it might just... work without without a quarter. I mean, mm-hmm. you don't even need All an right. active phone plan. If Sorry, you have a card in your phone, you can call nine one one now. So I imagine, yeah. Cool. So yeah, there you go then. 
Oh, I'll just call and say, um, I I have some information about um um some missing kids that uh, might be at a bottom of a lake north of the yep, lumber yard. <laughs> looks like, looks at Salem. The reply <laughs> you get is. I'm sorry, I, I'm having a hard time understanding you. Um, this is 911. What's the nature of your emergency? Police, this this dead people. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to grab the phone from Kat and say, nice try. Hey, uh, we found some stuff uh, by the lake north of the lumber yard. Uh, we think it might belong to the kids. Um, th 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 I'm Not worried that, that they drowned in the lake. You found, you found the bodies of miss of missing kids in the lake. Um, N no, we found their some of their belongings. There's like backpacks and, and a jacket, and it was it was uh, in the lake north of the lumber yard. And then I hang up the phone, and we gotta go. <laughs> Because you called 911. You didn't call the non emergency line. We got to go. So I immediately <laughs> hung up after say, after clarifying uh, that. Okay. Good try, honey. It was such that, a good try. That was I so love entertaining. You. you have a car. We're going. <laughs> I don't need yeah. cable. I just need Kat to make phone calls for me. That's mm -hmm. that was. We need to run. <laughs> run out. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. making every phone call from now on. Yeah. Yeah. That was um, incredible. The three of you go running as quickly as you can to Damian's car and uh, jump in. Damian has the car going and speeds away, leaving some uh, a little bit of rubber on the on the pavement as you <laughs> as you flee the scene. <laughs> Let's not get stopped by the cops. I can't um, believe you called nine one one. I did it. I... It was incredible. Hey. It was amazing. I, I loved it. Hey, Matt said we called nine one one. I just said and I don't think Cat knows the police. Nice. I don't think Cat knows the number for the police. <laughs> no worries. That's what the phone book's for. That went off without a hitch. Definitely did. Maybe the phone book was stolen. <laughs> oh, we don't touch public phone books. Ooh. They are pretty dirty. <laughs> you. <laughs> anyway, um. So let's turn our attention to Melody and Aisha, who've just arrived on scene at the um, at the, um, the Ropa Park. You said you wanted to search around the area that you had found that um, that coin yeah. previously, and mm -hmm. so uh, it, it takes you a, a good fifteen minutes or so to kind of wander about because it is it is um, getting to be nighttime. It it's a little past. Uh, dusk now or actually no it's the end of your investigation phase so it's more like 8 8 8 30 at this point um so yeah it is fully dark now there are still uh, lights and things within the park so it's not like completely pitch black you are able to f look around and and find things um what did you roll i rolled a 15 not bad i got a 10 okay so you start at the location that um, you had found that coin. You, you don't find anything there, particularly. Um, it, it's a park. It... However, you start making your way out and kind of spiraling, looking for various um, things, something that might catch your interest, something that appears out of the ordinary. Aisha, um, you're kind of passing by, like, the major playground of the park, and you spot that there is um, a staked sign um, positioned just outside of the the area where the kids play. You know, like there's a big area of just rock and mulch that all the kids play on. Well, outside of that line where where you typically see like your park benches and things like that, um, you find a, a paper sign, like a poster um, that's uh, been taped to a wooden stake and driven down into the ground. On it, it says, um, Community Outreach. Underneath that, it says, This Saturday the 7th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. Hmm. It is um, hosted by Sacred Hearts Church with food 
provided by Ambrosia Cafe. Free of charge. Hmm. What time did it say it was at? Uh, seven to, um, actually, I think seven to two is, is the best one for that. Seven to two. 7 a.m. to 2 p.m.? Mm hmm. What time's Damian's game? What happened? Oh, did you get your headphones back? No, I'm just using speakers. I, I can oh. hear. I, there was a portion of it that I missed, but it sounds like nobody needed me to hear anything, so we're good to go. Sorry about that. I, think um, I missed something. They were asking when um, the soccer game is on Saturday. Oh. Uh, I assume... It, when did we do the last one? We did it in the second free time phase, right? Yeah, and that's when it's going to be. Yeah, second free time phase. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay. So it would be the evening-ish or afternoon. Although Damian would have practiced that morning. Oh, yeah. That what? I assume, like, um, whenever you have a game, that um, at the beginning of the day, you, like, get together and, and prepare for that in any way? Practice beforehand? No? The know. last time, uh, we didn't do that. I, like, worked a shift at the movie theater and then went to the game. Okay, that's fine by me, then. Works for me. Cool. So there you go. It would take up your morning free time phase. And this is hosted by a combination of Sacred Hearts and catered by Ambrosia? Yeah, it's um, being put on by Sacred Hearts Church. It says hosted by Sacred Hearts Church. Food provided by Ambrosia Cafe. Interesting. That was the one we bought at before? Mm-hmm. Mm, that was Restaurant Imperial, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. Imperial. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, Ambrosia Cafe is the one by my place. It's just coffee shop. And... Yeah, it's a coffee shop that they do like baked goods and things like that. Yeah. Man, we can't get out at all in this, right, in this town without <laughs> any outsider's energy. I don't want to don't wanna tell Kat about this because it'll just further her conspiracy. <laughs> well, your conspiracy is right at this point. It's true. I mean, maybe we want that. It'd be fun to watch her keep going on with it. We'll just get her to call the call the call the church. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't a total uh, wash to come out here because guess we're gonna be busy before Damian's big game. We didn't see anything about this at the church itself, though. So for some reason, they're specifically targeting people in this neighborhood who come to this park. That's a good point. Unless we just missed it at the church. I mean, to metagame just like a, a, a bit, you know, assume Matt's drawing on his background in church, like... Churches don't usually advertise to their church members about the outreach things. They ask for like volunteers, but it's not like. Oh, yeah. you know, uh, I assumed that we would still see like a, hey, we're doing this thing. Come help us evangelize. But maybe it was just it was just during the morning announcements. By morning, oh morning, yeah, I mean, like the little bit of talk before the sermon. So just to recap, they see a sign that says Sacred Hearts Church Outreach Program Saturday morning mm -hmm. uh, hosted or uh, catered by Ambrosia Cafe. Correct. So like mechanically, it would take place during the first free time phase of the two free time phases on Saturday. Correct. Cool. I did that for Ash's uh, benefit. Are we all on the same page? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Neat. Have fun with that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we need to check the church. The church and the soccer are the two things that we have since the beginning. Hey, we got uh, Anesthetic in chat right now. She's one of our Patreon supporters. She's giving Damian a point of inspiration for today. That's so kind. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that. I will. There are some perks to be a Patreon member in our group. Anyway. Um, well, it is the end of your free, free period phase. Um, <laughs> since you have your communicators, you could have let uh, Damian Salem and Kat know where you all are to be picked up. Um, that way you can go on your patrol phase. And by the time uh, the three of them do arrive in the car to pick you up, um, you all find that the Wanderer is there waiting for you as well. Um, you're not sure when he showed up, um, Aisha and Melody. Um, the two of you are just standing there um, near, like, on the sidewalk near the entrance to the park waiting for the car to, to come up. And as the... As the car pulled in and the headlights kind of hit you all, there is the cat just sitting there waiting with you all. I need to put a bell on you. Oh, hi. Um, it, well, you, you know, it's uh, time for patrol phase. Um, or it's time to do the, your patrol. Nah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Derek has Kyrix break the fourth wall all the time, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, it's about time to go on patrol. It's getting kind of late. Um, so I figured I'd stop by and see how everybody's doing. See if you need to um, get up and get any um, shards or need anything else of that nature. Also, uh, good job uh, talking to the police cat. I, um, that was really impressive. He just kind of smiles up at you. I don't know if it was impressive. <laughs> I mean, you conquered your fear. You, you did something that was a, a, out of your comfort zone. That's pretty impressive. Um, oh, he's on the sheet. How much is a shard of lesser clarity? Let's take a look. I think it's like eight or less or four or something like that. Shards of Power. It's on page 107. Just in case. You said a shard of clarity? Mm-hmm. Uh, Damian Clarity's is right. Me. Eight gems. She with the memory. Wow. You I wonder. don't want to spend too much. And we can only have one of each, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Even more complicated. Like You can't have a... Clarity, lesser, and a clarity. You can only have like. Yeah, you can only have one of the clarity. So you can, if you have a lesser of clarity, you cannot buy a greater clarity unless you use the lesser first. I'll give you my lesser for four gloom gems. Doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Ah, uh, all right. You can only get rid of it by using it. Non-transferable magical power. <laughs> Well, I, I just have no magic left or anything, so just in case we run into something. You and got the... those whips. You're pretty good with them. Whip out the whips. Do it. <laughs> well, are you going to pass pass over the eight gloom gems? <laughs> um, I will keep my gloom gems for now. I think there's bigger things to buy. I'm sitting for a rune. That's fair. Um, I, I have the ability to oh. make your your stuff uh, a little bit more powerful mm. now that you've in increased your your experience as a Magi Knight. So yeah, um, if you want to save up for uh, runes and things like that, I, I fully support you. I just figured I'd ask. Mm -hmm. It'd be useful, but I'm gonna save up. Maybe maybe next time. That's okay. I have a question for the Wanderer. Uh -oh. so. Sure, Melody. <laughs> uh, what exactly do you do all day? Do you just watch us? I mean, I, I do a lot of different things. Um, I, I'm always conscious uh, of of you all, uh, no matter what. That way, I can I can show up and and help you all whenever you need me. Um. But my, my consciousness kind of splits a little bit, and so I can focus on multiple things at the same time. Um, I'm, I'm also usually looking for any signs of uh, um, spectral essences that I can um, give you information on. I also, you know, uh, 
really like uh, Japanese television. So I tend to watch a lot of that while I'm doing other things. There's also a lot of interesting、mm. things around town.、Uh, people are just kind of crazy, and I like to see what's going on. So, you know, I kind of do that too. You're a creep. You're a total creep. <laughs> What do you mean? You're just creeping on people. Just being creep? a creep. How are you? How is that? Creepy creep. I don't know what that means. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, oh, he's just being a cat. That's what cats do. Creepy. The creepy I, cat. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, they do don't the watch Japanese.、Thing. You go about your day watching people, too. Not, not just watching them, interacting with them, too. I, I interact with people, too. I interact with you all the time. Okay. Speak for your own cats. My cat watches Japanese TV. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah.、Um, there's this really fun show where、uh, people run these crazy obstacle courses trying to get to the top of a, of a castle.、Um, and, and they do really outrageous things. And the commentary is just amazing.、Uh. <laughs> I think that broke me a little bit. Hold on. I'll I forgot the、second. name of that show, but I know what show you're talking I, about. I love the Cashy's Castle. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's not this.、Um, that's fact, real thing.、Um, I was in the audience of one of their recordings once. <sighs> I am so、What? jealous. Wait, is it the mother or the father? Photos or it didn't happen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My house is like right over there. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, okay, um, What, what do you? What, what's all the? What do you plan on doing for your patrol? Is there any place in particular you're you're thinking about examining, or are you kind of uh, uh, just going out and about? Now, for mechanics purposes, a patrol phase you can do one of three things.、Um, I've, I've mentioned it once or twice, but it's probably been a while, so I'm just going to refresh the memory.、Um, you can do one of three things. You can either go out on patrol, just patrolling randomly about the city. You can explore a location if you have somewhere specific you're wanting to、um, check out. Like,、uh, for example, when you all went and checked out the lumberyard.、Um, your third option is just go home and get some good sleep. You don't necessarily have to patrol, though the wanderer does encourage you to do it all the time. If you are unable to, or you just don't have anything you need, you want to do, you can always just go home. So, of those three things, what do you want to do? Isn't、you、the、know. wanderer just with Aisha and、uh, Melody? Or well, all, yeah, you, yeah, you all pulled okay, up. All here? Yeah, you're all here. Remember, I said he showed up when you pulled up. Okay. With,、mm -hmm. in, in the car. I missed、um, the pulled up part. I guess. How did things go with the development place?、Mm. Um, there is a big guy with a gun there telling us to go away. I. That's normal. Yeah. Okay. Was not able That's to normal. To to <laughs> that is normal. That is a normal part of security work. Oh, the security guard, not just like a random.、Uh, okay. <laughs> concerning, Salem. Concerning that you did not understand he was a security guard. I don't know. I was picturing this big guy, like this Rambo guy, with. <laughs> That's not the second gun. Most security men kind of look like Rambo. Uh, well, I well, described the security guard. I'll just remind you, he looks like the bad guy from Rocky IV.、Uh, oh、looks like, yeah, Rambo. Yeah,、uh, blonde,、um, square jaw,、uh, definitely from the east.、Russian. Yeah, definitely from the east, and uh, uh, built like a brick. Um, <sighs> loaf as I am. To suggest it, it might be worth sleuthing around Sacred Hearts some more.、Um, I've got my manager trying to get me an in with the development company to have a conversation.、Um, if we can get an invitation, I can probably at least bring a couple of you along with me as an entourage. But it's kind of a back burner thing right now, and I don't want to. 
get caught there when after hours. Understandable. We could also just go home and sleep. Sleep sounds so good right now. Oh, am I the only one that does? Oh, no. I'm nervous about the Laropa High School uh, teens. I want to find, I want to try to find where they're practicing. Um, uh, yesterday when I was at the library, I got a list of like places that are privately owned that are not, um, that are like open fields and, and, and spaces to like practice on. Um, you know, they're not here, uh, but I doubt they would be anywhere public. I think they would be trying to hide. Uh, their practice because they're technically not supposed to be practicing. Um, so how about we just cruise around a couple of farms, see what we see, and if we don't see anything suspicious, our soul's crystals don't glow, then we go home. Cruise around the places that we know might be potential soccer places or outsider yeah. places, mm -hmm. and just yeah, and including the church, we, see... we can go by the church at some point and yeah, I and mean, just even head if home. we don't. Even if we do find some low energy, we don't have to do anything. Sometimes the decision to stand back and watch is a good one. Prepare. Sure. Uh, it's good to know where they're at, so I'm fine with a little recon. Except if we find these kids, I'm, like, we saw how bad the other ones were. I'm not, uh, like, we should put a stop to whatever's happening. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Okay. We'll make the call when we, if, if we find some. Mm -hmm. That sounds um, good. All right. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the trip that you're wanting to make. You said you wanted to drive around, but you're wanting to hit specific locations. So um, just kind of paint me a picture of um, where you're wanting to go, and then we're going to make some rolls. So from what I remember from my last visit to the library, I didn't roll very high, but I got a list of like, some farms that aren't growing anything right now mm -hmm. or just places that would be privately owned that have fields. I think we talked about like the Northeast, like close to the lumber yard, but not at the lumber yard. Yep. Um, so like, that's the area I kind of want to do a quick, like little figure eight in, and then maybe we hit drive past the church on the way back. And then I drop everyone off if we don't find everything. Okay. That's my thing. Okay. I dig it. So you're going to kind of be making a wide circle around. Um, if you look on the map where you all currently are, um, it's um, you would have to basically drive. You could theoretically drive past Gidham Development before heading north, um, crossing the river, and then making your way to these different farms. Because you, you kind of got a wide berth around here. You'd have to go around the Upper East Side of the city. Um, you would have to then cross the river to go around the, the ones that are near the lumber yard. But then you would have to come back down again to Sacred Hearts Church. Sacred Hearts Church is actually about eight miles in the opposite direction. So you would be making this kind of big O path. But is it possible? Absolutely. What do we care about more, Sacred Hearts Church or the soccer players? I, I know what I do. My, I my, understanding, do. my understanding was that we would just agree to look into the soccer players and we'd do Sacred Hearts another night. Like, I don't think we should like try and do like multiple things in one night. So Absolutely. Spreading yourself too thin. Yeah. Finding those kids seems the most important thing to you. So that's on my priorities as well then. Um, isn't, sick, isn't the church near somebody's house? Whenever some you go drop off somebody, you can always just any residual in re residual energy around the church. <laughs> it's kind of near my house. It's between yeah, Damian and Melody's house. Yeah, so you see this um, big old circle I just made on the map. Jesus, beautiful. That's basically Damn. what you would be doing. And how okay. long will this take us? Will this be to? That would be be your entire patrol phase essentially okay. yeah okay i mean that's like an hour and a half yeah hour yeah and an hour and a, an hour and a half yeah. of, of that's just 
the right. straight line. You're not, we're not talking about back roads. We're not talking about slowing and speeding and that sort of thing. So yeah, yeah. Uh, by the time you get back, if you're doing a careful patrol and actually looking at these places, then it's, it will be mo pretty much your entire um, patrol phase to do it. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. Works for me. Sounds good. Yeah, same. Okay. So you begin by making your uh, way out from the park, driving past Giddam um, development. You can go ahead and let's see here. First, I need to do something. So bear with me one second. Where is Laropa High on the map? I'm having trouble finding it. Lower East Side. Okay, oh, so we're not even south. going near it then. Yeah, it's nope. down. Thank goodness. <laughs> Nobody lives around there. I mean, Cat's idea with the church is people could be started being dropped off, but somewhere along the line. If we're going near the church, just check to see if there's any energy. I feel like we can just worry about that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Worry about it tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll focus on on the farms and any large fields. Yeah. Just like Aisha has an end to the development place, I have an end to the church. So we're it's a slow process, but... Mm -hmm. But the church! It's all connected to the I church! <laughs> I have plans for it, too, so we'll get there eventually. Hell yeah, we do high fives, Melody. <laughs> you have plans? I'll oh, high five back. <laughs> yes, I got one. Character development. Heck What's yeah. What's the plans? I'm assuming we're driving around. Yep. Yeah, and well, most is uh, muted. You yeah, are sorry. driving around, and uh, you are going first past Giddam Development as you make your way out of the city. So I imagine at that point your group kind of slows down and takes a, a good solid look at the place. It is um, shut down. Um, there is no lights on in the buildings for the most part. Like as you're gazing up at the building, you can see like a tiny smattering of lights and windows, but it's difficult to see anything beyond that because it is so high up. Um, Go ahead, somebody, and make a mysticism check for me. Should I do it? I'm proficient. Please do. Another 10 <laughs> with a plus 7. Wow. wow. Oh, that's a roll, roll. Mm hmm. Um, you, your soul crystal does not glow, does not seem there's, okay. like there's any activity here. Even outsiders sleep. <laughs> Maybe we need to ask uh, the wanderer if they sleep. Um, no, they uh, outsiders really don't sleep, but um, they're on a different entire um, plane plane of existence, and uh, also their construct is a lot different than than mortals. So, no, what they, about cultists? Oh, cultists sleep, definitely. They're still human. You make your way through uh, past Gidim development and into the Upper East Side, making um, heading out of the city towards the farm areas. Go ahead and give me somebody an investigation check. I'll do it. It's mostly going to be the E20. Got a six plus six. You can do plus it. Six. You do it. <laughs> It'll probably give roll another three. Let's see. Oh, much better. <laughs> you spend um, the next hour or so driving around these different farm areas. You have a list of um, of locations that either are abandoned or aren't in regular use, and you do a very thorough check of all of them. Unfortunately, um, during that time, you do not see any signs of the, the um, of the soccer club. You don't see any lights or anything like that. 
You continue on north, making your way around until you get reach um, the river that runs through Laropa. As you're making your way around, um, you've at first catch sight of something that you think might be lights or people moving about in lights. And you stop and you hurry to um, one particular farm to see what's going on. What you find there is actually, um, well, how do I describe this? You know when um, when um, farm animals are being sent to a location to be slaughtered, um, mm -hmm. they're usually being um, put on a very large bed of, of uh, trucks, and um, herding them into it is a massive process. That's what you find. Um, and like your car pulls up and on, onto the land and you, you see this and like some of the farm hands are looking out and pointing at your car. I think we keep driving. It's, you know, I, I don't know farm schedules, so I don't know what's normal for them to be doing this like at night or not. Um, but I, I imagine it's like an all hours of the day type thing. So I, I don't see a reason to continue investigating this, especially if we're drawing attention, being like a truck arrives when it arrives. <laughs> hmm? I said a truck arrives when yeah. it arrives. Yeah. Yeah, I think we keep driving. Okay. Yeah. Um, they actually have all of their major farm equipment, like their their big trucks and and um and uh, what I'm blanking on the the, the big old tractors that they have with a t with lights all on the top they have all of these positioned around um the area where the steers are and all of the lights are blaring on it um it does pretty much look like standard um standard work cool you eventually make your way back around passing the lumber yard and into uptown laropa you're making your way um, down across the river once again to circle towards Sacred Hearts Church. Now, um, as you're making your way there, my question is: Are you like, are, are you doing the same thing as you, you've been? You're just kind of doing a drive-by um, to see if there are any lights or anything like that. Um, I thought we were going to skip the church and just focus on the farmlands. Did we do the ones by the lumberyard as well? Yeah, with I, I kind of counted your 25 through all of that. It seems like it's a quiet night. And unfortunately, the soccer club is not out here right now. Gotcha. Then, yeah, I think we just go crash. That's my vote. What's everyone else thinking? Sleep time. Sleep yeah. time. But the church! Everything is about the church! <laughs> I really need sleep. But the church! Uh, Cat. Here. Church can go anywhere. Yes, yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Love the energy, though. Fair enough. But the roots and the roots and the tree and the th It's all connected to the church. Well, um, unable to find the, the soccer club if they're meeting today. It's definitely not out in the farms. You start making your way back to the city, um, and you go to drop everybody off. It's been a quiet evening. Um, while you patrolled the city, um, I, I you would I wouldn't I don't know if I could say you've, you're pleasantly surprised by the fact that the the everything's been quiet, or if you're unpleasantly surprised by this fact. But, you know, sometimes it's nice just to have a relaxing evening. Now, since you did have a quiet night on patrol, um, your outcome is that you reduce your stress points by two. You reduce exhaustion by one. During the sleep phase, you may recover all of your hit points instead of half. So, although you didn't find anything um, cult-wise, you're at least getting a good night's sleep. And our mana, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, uh, that, 
we'll all, we'll cover all of that here in a second. Um, oh, my question you. is: Before you all go to bed, is there anything anybody wants to do? Nope. No. Think of anything. Okay. No. Perfect. In that case, you all make your way to your homes. Um, for the first time in a while, getting there before midnight, which is probably nice. And you're able to make your way to your beds. So let's go ahead and go through your sleep phase. Now, normally this would be an average sleep, but because you did have um, such a quiet evening, you're going to be getting um, a little bit more from that. Instead of um, recovering half your total hit points, you're going to recover all of your hit points. So everybody can recover your hit points. Everybody recovers all of your mana points. Your stress points are reduced by three. Your exhaustion points are reduced by one. And crystalline fractures are recovered equal to two plus half your reputation level rounded down. So two. Question about... Uh... Exhaustion points. Is that in addition to the one we just recovered? Yes. Okay, cool. So we heal. So we get two exhaustion heal total? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. oh, I misunderstood what was happening earlier was not part of the sleep phase. My mistake. Yeah, no, the stuff that. That, that you got before then, that was just because um, you had such a quiet evening patrolling. Or. It, it affects the same way, anyway. And how many fractures? Two. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, with that in mind, you all wake up the next morning, bright and early, and... It is Friday, September the 6th, 1996. A great time to be alive. I need our fearless leader to roll for weather. It's a D100, right? Mm-hmm. A six. A six. Today, when you wake up, the temperature is colder than normal. The rain has um, completely blown over, and uh, the wind is light. So everybody's going to need a, a light jacket at the least. It is September, but it's not too, too bad. So that's good. Well, you all wake up, get ready, do whatever it is you need to do to start off your day. Does anybody have any plans of any, or anything that they want to accomplish before heading to school the following in this morning? Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today. Um, I imagine my parents have a newspaper subscription, so I want to see if any breaking news about the lost person cases in the paper. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not going to make your roll for this one. I'm j you're just grabbing the paper and looking through it. There are no um, mentions of uh, the kids whatsoever. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to have breakfast and go to school. Okay. Yeah, I think unless my parents are trying to talk to me about something, I'm going to look like everything's normal. You know, normal school day. Uh, well, night feeling good. Mm -hmm. Now, your parents uh, wish you good morning. They, you, ha you all have breakfast together, but um, um, they they do ask how you're feeling about the soccer game tomorrow. Yeah, nervous. Uh, but you know, I think um, it's funny. I'm not sure how like resounding gross would would play out practically, uh, but like practice on thursday was incredible right i think i think i think we're in better shape than we've ever been i think we have a real shot uh, at the championship this year so yeah i think i'm feeling okay you know um and then i'm gonna ask my mom who works at the hospital about uh if she's heard anything about um the ghost hunting club waking up uh, i believe they are woke they are up um because uh, you, your group did, uh, or at least a few of you, did go check on them. 
um, in the hospital. So um, oh, right, right, right. they're awake. They're just not at in school. Never yeah. mind. They're recovering. Um, My so they are awake. They are all still in kind of a, a very weakened state right now. Um, they haven't been discharged from the hospital yet. Um, they're all still um, waiting on tests, making sure that they're okay. But um, your mom does reassure you that they'll probably be fine, and hopefully they'll be back to school no later than next week. Great. Okay. Well, you all head to school meet up and I'm going to turn on the school music real quick. <laughs> you all arrive Whoa. just as the school bell rings. Ding dong ding bong. <laughs> <laughs> it is a typical day at school. All of your um, classmates are filing in, making their way to their lockers um, to gather up their books, put away their coats, and make their way to class. Does anybody have anything they want to do before you go to class today? Perfect. Uh, actually, I would like to, if Melody is around, get in touch with her, because I think her and I are going to have to tag team a project. Okay. Okay. Um, I was wondering if you and I could maybe go ahead and sometime today put this camera back into the locker. I think we need to return it while they're still out of commission. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Which do you know which locker we should put it in? Um, uh, I. Let's see. I'm I have okay friendship with her. I don't know if I have enough to know where her locker is. So let me see. How, how many friendship points do you have? With her, I th oh my gosh, where is that? It's in my journal. Um, let's see. With Bel uh, Bianca, I've got ten. Oh yeah, you oh, you wow. would definitely know <laughs> where her locker is then. Okay. Yeah, she kept bringing me there on the first day to show me more and more pictures of ghosts that she kept forgetting to show me the first time. So we just kept making U-turns and coming back to it. So I can show you where it's at. Yes, please. And I think I know someone who can help me get into it. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> can I try to find Lacey? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Make an investigation check for me. Nat 20. You find her very quickly. She's at her locker, um, um, currently putting away her backpack and coat. It's one of those cute little uh, pink uh, kind of jumper sort of uh, hoodie coats with uh, big, big old ears on the top of it. Uh, oh, I'm hi. Gonna hi, surprise her from behind. Okay. Try, try, try to surprise her from behind. And be um, like, Lacey! I feel like you can do this without an issue. She's just got her head in, in there. I'm okay. not going to make you roll. She'll jump up. Oh, oh, oh hey, Damon, Damian. Um, hi. Uh, oh, you scared me. Yeah, so, uh, sorry about that. It's nice to see you. Uh, I just want to give you a heads up. I chatted with the rest of the team. Uh, we absolutely have the ghost hunting club slot filled um we're gonna put on the presentation we're planning it out the soccer team is gonna uh provide backup as well uh i need to talk to the dance team uh cat's gonna help me with that but i think we're gonna get a big thing going and uh and it should be a lot of fun oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh thank you so much thank you she grabs your hands and and like clasps them and she's kind of jumping a little bit thank you so much i really appreciate it. you're saving me such a bind oh my yeah, gosh yeah. This, this is gonna be incredible i can't wait um uh you just as, as soon as you get all of everybody together and know what you're wanting to do just come let me know let me know if there's anything you need us to provide and we can help you out with that sounds great um and then quick question because it's been a while since we chatted about it has the janitor let up? Like, are you, have you noticed him anymore? Like, following you or looking at you or anything like that anymore? Oh, uh, 
actually, no. He's been, um, he hasn't been around the last couple days. I hadn't noticed him at all. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, she's kind of thinking to herself a little bit. Sorry, I've been so preoccupied with with uh, the festival that I completely forgot all about it. But no, now that you mention it, I haven't seen him in the last few days, at least. Okay, cool. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I've been forgetting to keep an eye out for him, too. Was, you know, kind of a busy day yesterday. But um, I'm glad to hear that. Awesome. Well, uh, you know. Take it easy. I'm going to do yeah. another one of those, like, head ruffle, like, little sister thing, like, on each on, and then he's Yeah. Out. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. And as you're walking away, go ahead and add a friendship point in with our social point with Lacey. Hey. Hi. Hi, hi, The first bell rings, and it's time to head to class. Uh, your first period is history with Mr. Thomas Rothen. He is a short little man. He uh, uh, loves to wear tweed. Um, he's got sh uh, short kind of spiky uh, gray hair and big old long mutton chops on the sides of his face. He tells everybody as you're all coming in, Ah, well... Sorry to tell you all this, everybody, but it's time for a pop quiz. I know you had one yesterday, and it's time for one with me, too. So everybody sit down, get your pencils out. I'm going to be passing out the... Oh, God, I just blanked on it. What was that um, sheet? Where is it just all Scantron? little bubbles? Scantron, thank you. I'm going to be passing oh. around the Scantron sheets, and I expect quiet during this, uh, this quiz. So, you are going to be making either an academic arts or a leadership check for this. Heck yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yes, Okay, does anybody want to use their um, daily D4s before we get to it? Uh, you're muted, Damian. Sorry, uh, I feel like you asking that is an indicator that we should. That I should. I, I, that I this was me this was doing me. the one time where I'm going to remind you that it exists. Mm. That's why. It's guys. higher DCs. Yeah. It is a higher DC. Um, I was planning on asking no matter what y'all rolled. Um, but if you want to use it, Damian, you're welcome to. Yeah, I'll use it. Oh, it might be 14, though. <laughs> that might be the DC. Mm. Uh, Aisha, what'd you get? I can do 23. 23, success. Damian. Uh, 14. 14 is a success. That is the DC. Melody. Oof. 24. Success. Salem. 18. Success. Cat. Uh, 21. It's amazing what you all can do when A, you're not tired, and B, you put your minds to it. You all pass your pop quizzes with flying colors, and Mr. Rothen is very impressed with your group. He gives you all a nod as he's grading these papers, and um, as, as the bell uh, rings and as you're all exiting, he does get to tell you that uh, each one of you did pass. Your next class is Science with Mr. Cameron Hawthorne. This is a, a, a man that he looks, well, he kind of looks like Ben Stein from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Really. Um, salt and pepper hair, just that somber, morose expression. Talks very monotone the entire time. Um, and for this class, you're going to be making a medicine or a STEM check. Uh, 
And hey, Aurora too, thank you for the follow. Okay, Damian. Look at all those seven. Sorry. Uh, nope. I got no, you're good. I got a 26. 26, that is a success. If anybody wants to use their dice, now's the time. It's a D4? Mm-hmm. That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Melody. I got a 17. Success. Salem. I also got a 17. Success. Cat. Seven. Failure. Aisha. Failure. Also a seven. Also a seven. That is a failure as well. Um, for the most part, your group does pretty good, but the two of you just... Whew, that test was a lot harder than you were anticipating it was going to be. I was only science class. Yeah, science class. Why does? Why was the whole thing about chlorophyll? Huh. <laughs> oh. uh, your third period of the day is a foreign language, and the language is your choice. What you have to roll is either academic arts or insight. So when I call out your name, tell me um, what class you're taking, then tell me what you rolled. We're going to start with Melody. I got a 16, and I can't remember what she's taking. I'm checking really quick. <laughs> it's okay if you can't remember. But a 16 is still a success. Oh, it's French. French, there you go. That fits. That fits. Uh, Salem, how about you? Uh, Salem's actually also taking French. I got a 25. 25. Very nice. Also a success. Cat. Cat. Francais. Francais. 24. 24. Also a success. Aisha. Aisha. I have written down that I'm taking Spanish, but I feel like I should be in French with everyone else at this point. Uh, but, uh, 22. 22 is a success. Damian. Uh, I got a 17. Damian está tomando español. This is uh, a gimme. Yep, that is a gimme for the español, and a 17 is a success. So, um... Y'all did much better in this class than the previous, or at least a couple of you did. So that is good. All of you succeeded, and um, your teachers are all very happy with you. That is the end of the first half of your school day. The school bell is about to ring, so before it does that, let's go ahead and tally up our successes and our failures and see how we did. We're going to start with Salem. What did you get? Salem uh, got three successes. Three successes. Very nice. Where is that page? Because I just lost it. Um, three successes. You have a bright future ahead of you. The more you think about it, the more you realize your future has a lot of potential. I doubt you have stress because you just lost a bunch. But if you do, you lost two more. Cat, what would you get? Uh, I think one got one um so that is keep up the positive attitude you're doing okay but things could be better so no change aisha same same thing so um no change but keep up that positive attitude damian Tres. three you have a bright future ahead of you as well so if you have any stress points you're losing two of them With that, the school bell rings once again, which means it is time for lunch.
Now you are all making your way out of your last class, heading to your lunch, uh, to your lockers, to you know grab up your lunch boxes and make your way to the lunch room. Now you have a handful of choices of what you can do during your lunch phase. You can relax and eat with friends. You can do a last minute cram session. You can listen to gossip. You can drink copious amounts of caffeine, or you can try and take a power nap. Now these uh, items are all on, let's see here, I'm looking for it real quick. Takes my computer a second to load. I don't know why. There it goes. Now it's loading. So as I said, relax and eat with friends. Get some uh, str rid of some stress points. Gain some social points. Last minute cram session. Um, you're studying for one of your phases, which I will remind you that the next handful of uh, classes you're doing is language arts, mathematics, and computers. So, um, the next thing, you can listen to gossip, try to find more information of stuff that's going on around school. Um, you can drink copious amounts of caffeine, um, but uh, none of you are really de dealing with stress or exhaustion, so I doubt you either you need to do that or take a power nap. So with that in mind, what do you all plan on doing for your lunch phase? Damian. Do you want to discuss our upcoming cultural festival show? Relax and eat and do that? I've got no reason to say no. Uh, can we do it with the soccer team? Yeah, sure. Tight. <laughs> Since, you know, they're, gonna, they're, they're willing to be like backup dancers. Yeah, the two of you definitely would want to involve them, and since you're using them for backup dancers, <laughs> I like it. What about the rest of you? I'm probably going to do a last minute cram session. I don't trust math. Never have. Never will. That's entirely fair. <laughs> I don't trust math either, but Cat tends to like to listen to gossip at lunch. Worst case scenario, you get an inspiration point. I almost would prefer that in our shoes right now. <laughs> Melody? Um, I think I'm going to relax and eat with friends and find James. Okay, I like it. Um, To find James, you know what you gotta do. You gotta make an investigation check. Uh. And Kat, since you're going to be listening to gossip, I would like for you to also make an investigation check. Melody, um, let's start off with you since you're the one who rolled. I got a 19. The sun is out today, so there's a very good chance that James Ronan is sitting underneath his usual tree out on the quad. And that's where you head, and you find him. You see him sitting there underneath the tree. Um, his, he's got his knees up. Um, he has a book leaning against it. Um, his hoodie is pulled up over his head. Um, and you, you can, his like face is shadowed underneath that. He, I'll remind you all that underneath his cold trash uniform coat that everyone has to wear, the blazer, he always wears a hoodie underneath that. God only knows how hot he is at all times, but uh, somehow he still uh, does it without looking sweaty and gross, which is always an impressive feat. Because he's dead. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> anyway, um, you do find him sitting there. Do you say anything to him, or how? what's your approach? Yeah, I'll walk up and say, 
Hello, nice sunny day, isn't it? He um he m makes a sound that's kind of hard to hear, almost like a eh. <laughs> I'll sit next to him. You sit down next to him and start eating your lunch, and surprisingly, unless you actually um, make conversation, he seems uh, perfectly content to just sit there quietly and read his book. Okay. I'll let him do that for a little while while I'm eating, but as soon as I'm done... Um, I want to say, um, so I have a question and then I also want to ask a favor, which if you'd like, I can owe you a favor in return, but it's really small. So it has to be a small favor that I give you in exchange. Make for me a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, 22. You see James close the book. And without looking up, he says, Fair's fair, I suppose. What's the question? Right. The question is, uh, last time we talked, well, first of all, how are you doing? Because you were really worn out after making that communicator yesterday. He turns his face to you, and he doesn't look great. His his eyes are kind of sunken in. His cheeks look a little sallow. Um, he, he looks kind of pale, and his eyes are slightly red. What he, what he tells you, however, is, is his reply is, I'm fine. Hmm... I'll try very hard to hide my concern. <laughs> um, how long does it usually take you to recover after doing something like that? His reply is... The two are unrelated. Oh, is it because you haven't gotten energy in a while? Make another persuasion check. He's so tough. Okay. Uh, 13. <sighs> he, he... He seems like he's measuring out his words a little bit. But finally his reply is... Magic is complicated. Sometimes it's more draining than others. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, but don't get into any trouble for a while, okay? <laughs> that makes him kind of smile. Just a little bit of a, a twerk at the edge of his lips. When have I ever gone looking for trouble? <laughs> uh, every night. <laughs> um, What's your favor? So, we have Bianca's camera and we want to return it to her and I happen to know that you're skilled at opening lockers so I was wondering if you could help us with that because we want to do it secretly are you asking me to put it in there for you or are you asking me to just open the door just open it and then we'll put it in he um he thinks to himself for a little bit and
takes a really long, deep sigh, like very theatrically. <sighs> Fine. Wait until everybody's gone for the day. It'll be open. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I have one more little question. You said you want me to call you if we're going into combat. Do you want it to be any combat or just if it seems like it's a bigger deal? If it seems like it's a bigger deal. Like, if you're dealing with uh, the peons, it's not going to disrupt anything that I'm doing. What you did the other night, it... You did it about the same time I was doing something. And there's... There's feedback when you deal with these type of energies. Um. Kind of... Let's just say I'm still... I'm, the effects are accum accumulative. That was a hard word to say. Accumulative. And I'm feeling the after effects of it today. Oh, so that's... I mean, not to insult you, but that's why you look worn out. I mean, I called you out yesterday. I guess it's your turn. <laughs> that's true, you did. Mm. I'm sorry for doing that to you then. I wish we had warned you. He shrugs and says, I wasn't aware of whatever it was out there, so that was on me. We're good. That's good. Because, uh, I mean, I consider myself hard to befriend, but... I think you're me times ten. So I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> I'm not difficult to deal with. I just don't tolerate stupid people. You at least have proven or haven't proven that you're among them. Thank you. But I don't think you're difficult to deal with. I just mean, I mean, at least not in my opinion, I just mean it's a slow process. Slow processes are usually the better ones. Things That's that true. happen too quickly never last. I can agree with that. Damn, James with the facts. <laughs> <laughs> What is your group working on right now? Um, we just saw a sign last night that the Sacred Hearts Church is hosting a community outreach on Saturday, and we've been suspicious of them for a while. Um, so we're gonna try to look into it. It's really frustrating though, because we haven't really been able to find anything for sure. They just seem really suspicious. He, th he considers that for a moment. I mean, it is a church. It's a foundation of lies. Of course it's suspicious. Um, it's, it's different than that. It's... They sing different songs than you would expect, and they're more friendly than you would expect and have uh, I don't know it's just a feeling it's hard to explain they have their hands in so many different pies <laughs> yes that yes that's true they also have connections to basically everywhere that we've been investigating in some way I mean, 
James kind of considers that for a little bit. Huh. I mean, I don't know the first thing about a church, so if you think it seems weird that they do so many things, he shrugs. If you find anything, let me know. I will. What are you investigating right now? Oh. Life, the universe, everything. In other words, you won't tell me. He kind of shrugs at that. I'm not a Magi-Knight. I'm just a guy going about his business. Depends on how deeply you want to get into non magi -Knight business. I still need to finish reading the book you gave me. Hmm. Well... Then I guess we can't talk any more on that subject. Yes, I'm close though. About that time, the bell's ringing, so he would get up and make his way out. And so we're going to turn our attention to Damian and excuse me, Damian and Aisha. Who have went and found the soccer club? The soccer team is all sitting together in one of those big old long tables. Um, the two of you can definitely join them. Um, you're you're relaxing and eating with friends, um, and uh, this goes the same for Melody as well. That when you um, relax and eat with friends and don't have any stress points, you gain two social points instead of one. Um, so I assume, Melody, you're putting those two points in with James. Yes. And um, uh, Damian and Aisha, are the two of you putting those just with each other? I'm putting them both into Damian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, you have a nice lunch with the soccer team. Um, everybody's excited about the big game on Saturday. Um, while you're eating lunch, Coach Appleman approaches your table well hey, hello everybody it's great to see you all banding together and having lunch together and um talking about the game and getting pumped up that's exactly the kind of thing i want to see yeah um I i'm sorry about interrupting everybody's lunch but i was hoping that you could all at least take about 10 minutes of the end of your lunch period and come see me in my office i have some news about the game on saturday and i wanted to share it with you all yeah sure yep yeah i look around the table and assume everyone else is in as well yeah everybody's like more or less finished with their meals and are more than happy to get up and make their way out with the coach and you want to whisper to Aisha, like you should you should tag along you should I, I, this is weird okay i can cool. do that i will be your shadow no Coach has no problem with that whatsoever. You all make your way out of the lunchroom following the coach to his office where he does have at you all close the door. Aisha, you're just kind of in the back behind everybody. Whether or not he notices, he makes no real comment on this presence. What he tells you is this. Now, um, I have some information that I want to give you all and get you all in the correct mind space for the next game. Last night, the Oregon School Activities Association had a meeting to discuss what happened here at our field. What the police have uh, determined so far is that chances are what was done was done by multiple individuals, but they haven't been able to find anything at the scene that links it to anyone. The... The, uh, the investigation is still ongoing. 
Some believe that it could have been the work of a single individual. Hopefully we'll know more soon. But considering the what happened on the field, the, the association feels that it's not a good location to hold a game. After a long debate, the association decided that the game is going to be held on at Laropa High Sports Field. And he kind of pauses to let that set in. The entire team is like, what? What, coach? Why Why are they having us do it there? Yeah. That's insane. I can't. Yeah. They, it's obvious they did it to us. And, like, that's kind of the general talk. Do you chime in at all? Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I think Damian's initial response is that's bullshit. Like, that, that sucks. Is there anything we can do to appeal? Unfortunately, no. I tried. Believe me, I, that was the reason why I was at the meeting to begin with, is to try to make sure it was going to be held at a good neutral location. Unfortunately, every location in the city is currently being used. They didn't want to disrupt all the other leagues that's going on, and the Ropa High soccer field was the only one they deemed was appropriate and easy to let all of the parents know um, where it's going to be at. Yeah. Calls are already being placed and sent out, and everybody will know. I wanted you to hear it from me first, mainly because uh, I'm not thrilled about this decision at all. I fought hard and argued with the board quite a bit, but the board just would not back down. I think Damian's too stunned to speak. You boys will win. Who needs home field advantage? That's just an unneeded handicap. You say that and like this high voice just breaks through the crowd and everyone turns and looks and then they're like, you know what? She's right. We've got this. It doesn't matter what field we're on. It doesn't matter if they're the ones who trashed our field. We're going to kick their butts anyway. We're going to show them up on their home turf and win this thing and show them that everything they did to us doesn't mean a thing. And the, the team kind of starts getting a little hyped up. There's still a lot of uh, and frustration. But at the very least, the team seems to be at least a little bit understanding about the situation. Yeah, okay. I think Damian just walks away. Uh, mind too full to actually engage. Um... Do you like leave the actual mm -hmm. office? I think I start to. I make my way to the uh, to the door. Um, Daisy would fall after you. And once you're a few like a few strides away from the office, she would whisper, "It's easier for us to put up a perimeter to avoid any outsider activity while you win the game." Say that again. It's easier to. She whispers it, but it's easier for us to put up a perimeter to avoid any outsider activity while you win the game. Yeah, um, I think we need to investigate the school. I think, I think, I think, after seeing what was happening with, like, and I, and this is why I, I I couldn't like my wires crossed, my magic, like I can't be hyped with the team because I'm I'm worried about them. Like, what if this is all just a big ploy to, you know, harvest soul energy from everyone in attendance at the game, like. Like, we need to scope out the school and we need to shut it down before the game. Do you agree? I... I agree that... My concern is breaking into the school at this point. Plus, we don't know for sure if they're even storing it at the school, considering where we found the other team members. It's possible that there's some third location that we haven't found yet. And the school's a red herring. They know that the Magi Knights know what they're affiliated with. 
So there's a chance it could be um, hidden in plain sight there, but I think they're whatever they're planning is being prepared at some more secret first sight. I don't think I understand what leads you to believe that if literally the numbers like you remember how packed restaurant imperial was when they were you know the hardest i'm season. not sure what i'm saying is what i'm suggesting is that there's a device that will be moved to the school the day of the game yeah but i mean but we we haven't like the first time we checked out the school the practice was going crazy but we ran away right we haven't gone back since. I'm just saying, before Saturday, before the game, it would behoove us to make sure nothing is actually happening at the school. We should play to a vote. I agree. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. No, this is shocking, and this sucks, and I'm mad. Uh, I'll I'll talk to you after school, and the, and Damian walks away. Mm-hmm. And I think with Damian walking away, this is a perfect point to pause because I just saw what time it is. So we're going to go ahead and go on break, everybody. But when we return, we're going to get into our last two Magi Nights uh, lunch period. And then we're going to continue on with their day. So stay tuned. Howdy everybody, we are back. And when we last left off, our heroes uh, Damian and Aisha just got some complicated news from the coach of the soccer team, Coach Appleman. With their scene now over, yeah. let's turn real quick to poor John, who um, didn't r is, is just... Uh, not doing a whole lot here, um, because Salem, uh, you are just studying. Yeah, he's freaking out a little bit. He he looked a little bit ahead in the book and realized that numbers can be imaginary, and he can't handle that right now. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> Absolutely. So you are doing your um your studying, uh, which allows you to um, add a four to um, the dice roll of your math class. So that is always helpful. Cat, you were going to listen for gossip. Um, we have to scroll up a little bit to find you, but uh, looks like you rolled a 14 on your investigation. So, there are a few things that um, you... You, you notice that you can look into. Um, it looks like the computer club is all bunched together having a big old conversation. They seem very, very deep in it and all have their heads together. Um, there is also some people uh, talking uh, at another table about um, something going on with the power company. You hear the, the words power company and that kind of piques your interest a little bit. Um, the, the last thing that's being discussed right now at a uh, third table um, has to do with the mayor and city council. What are you wanting to look into? Mm -hmm. Something like something. Ah, uh, well, computer club. She doesn't really care about the computer club all that much. Um... <laughs> Probably the video game. Politics or power company? Politics or power company? Oh, she's she's invested in the power company. Okay. She's curious to know what they have to say. Okay. So hey. you head over to one table nearby um, where a group of students are all um, sitting there talking about um, what the state of affairs that's going on here in Laropa City. Apparently, this is uh, 
Oh God! What what's the committee in high school that um, is student council? It's the student council, um, and Bianca's there because she's the student council president. What? Wait a minute, not Bianca. Um, sorry, I'm blanking. I, so. I know who you're talking about. She's on the NBC list. Uh. Yeah, not. Uh, I'm blanking on her name real quick. I don't remember who it was. Yuna? No. Hold on, I, I'm pulling my thing up real quick so I can find her. Cordelia, that's it. Cordelia uh, Jones. Um, the, this is a table with Cordelia Jones. She is the um, student council president. Um, she kind of has a, her posse all gathered up at the table. Um, and as you uh, uh, you approach, she, she kind of nods it at you and um, you ask them what, what it was they're talking about. What Cordelia tells you is that, um, oddly enough, what they're discussing is actually um, the mayor of Laropa City. The mayor apparently had um, been accused of having an inappropriate relationship with an intern. The reason they're discussing it is because um, the day before yesterday, City Council um, stepped in and forced the mayor to step down from his position um, temporarily while the investigation is happening. The City Council is um, stepping in to govern while the investigation is underway. Um, and the reason they're really talking about it is... Um, Apparently, there is a big um, athletic association meeting that went on last night, um, and they 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 hear that the sports teams are kind of pissed off about it. Um, the coaches are all um, t uh, have been gossiping all day and talking about it, and apparently, the stu the um, city council influenced the decision that was being made um, on this uh, athletic association decision that has gotten all of the coaches and faculty at school so pissed off. <coughs> okay. I think I said the power company, but that's fine. Oh, did you? I'm sorry. I thought you said the mayor. My bad. <laughs> It's fine. She got some stuff on the mayor, so. <laughs> I mean, she got some stuff on the city council. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a big deal. Uh, how did yep. I blank on that one? I just looked at my paper and started reading. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> yep. It might have been the more important uh, thing in the list. I don't know. Well, um, yeah. I'm going to include this because as they're talking about it, they... Um, with the city council cup um, stepping in, one of the students uh, say, God damn, it's about time that uh, somebody got the mayor out of there and took charge. He's been useless for years. Like, you know about all the power outages that's been happening all over the city? It happened again down on the lower west side this time. The power outage went on for most of the night. It, um... Our alarms didn't wake us up this morning, um, and it was a big-ass inconvenience. What's on the Lower West Side? Not Lower West Side of, of town. There's not a whole lot down there. Um, there's Laropa Library. There's the uh, Jim's Gym. There's... Uh, there's Ambrose okay. Cafe towards the end of it. Um, uh, you're, you're told that the power outages happened uh, about uh, 11 o'clock last night, and they didn't come back on till almost 4 in the morning. So after our thing. Yeah, so after you had all left and were on your patrol. That was about the time you all were uh, across the other <laughs> side of town uh, investigating the farms. Okay. No one actually lives in the Lower West Side. Close. Yeah, close. You're you're close, but your apartment was not in the area that was affected. <laughs> yes, category is the entire city is suspect. 
<laughs> the entire city is 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 called this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she'll be like, wow, that's interesting. Oh my, is the, 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 is the mayor out of power now? Is that what happened? Um, yeah, he's basically, well, he's he hasn't been fired, but he is um, currently under uh, a leave of absence while the investigation is happening. Um, so he, he's not allowed in the office and he he's being forced to just stay at home. But who's running that? The city council is. The whole, the whole council. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, I don't actually okay. have names for them right now because they're not that important to, um, to you all. If you want to give them names, we can give them names right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can move on. Yeah. Jim of oh, Jim's Jim. <laughs> Cat will probably look it up at a later time, but not right now. It's probably in the newspapers. I'll bet you Gidham's on there. The dude from Indolence Games is on there. <laughs> the, that guy from the church. Smith, Smith yeah. the bodyguard. Mr. Smith. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. yeah, Smith, the security guard. He's definitely on city council. And yeah. Ronan, just because. <laughs> yeah. Ronan, oh, he'd be the worst at it. <laughs> he wouldn't show up at all. Like never. Yeah. <laughs> if, if there is a vote, he would send it via um, certified letter. And somehow it would be offensive. Yeah, I don't know why. it would somehow be offensive. <laughs> but yeah, um, so power outages um, in the lower west side. The mayor has been ousted. The city council has taken over, and they influenced this um, athletics. Uh, organization decision that happened last night. Okay. And, and with that, the lunch bell finally rings. Lunch is over. All of you have to get up. Um, James gives you a nod, Melody. Um, Cordelia says goodbye to you, um, Kat. Um, Damian's probably somewhere blowing off steam. But eventually you all have to make your way back to your class. Because your fourth period class is Language Arts with Mr. Liam O'Shea. And I've described Mr. O'Shea before. He is a bald on top, but really, really long, ponytailed, um, white-haired man. Um... He has a porn stash. He wears uh, Hawaiian shirts underneath garish suits. He always has his chest showing. He always has gold medallions on underneath his shirt. It is just a caricature. But he's also a pretty good language arts teacher. Unfortunately, it is still pop quiz time, which means everybody needs to make their academic arts check. Oh, wow. <laughs> so close. Nice. nice. Is everybody good with their scores? I mean, I'm not good with it. Can I have a plus one? No. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Uh, yeah, what'd you get? Uh, I rolled an 11, but then I used my d4. Okay, so what was your total? Uh, 14. 14 is a success. Well done. Aisha? 13. 13 is a failure. So close. Damian? I got 26. 26. Success. Melody? I rolled an 11, and I'm taking the hit. I'm too grossed out by his chest hair to concentrate <laughs> that is fair and it is also a failure salem <laughs> oh i definitely failed i got an eight salem was too focused on math and is still thinking about it <laughs> fair fair well 
At the end of the period, your next class is mathematics with Mr. Nathaniel Vale, a very dour and somber, dark-skinned man who looks as though he always just came from a funeral. His class, you're making STEM checks, and um, this is the class that you ha that you get to add plus four to. So good on you. What? I'm gonna quit. I rage. I rage. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, random rhapsody coin. Yeah, that's fair. Go ahead and use that coin. Much better. For a second, a very brief second, I thought cats roll with your roll, and it was really funny. <laughs> well. Okay, Aisha, what'd you get? I got a 20. 20 is a success. Damian. I got a 20 as well. Also a success. Very nice. Good use of the coin. Melody. A six. Ouch, that is a failure. Maybe you're still focused on uh, Mr. O'Shea's Jeez. chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm imagining shaving it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just holding him down. <laughs> Exactly. Like a lawnmower? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Salem. Uh, Salem got a... Studying works. I got a nat 20, so 22. Nat 20. <laughs> that is two successes. Very well done. And cat. A uh, nine. Nine. Math is hard. Math is hard, unfortunately. That is a failure. Well... One more class to round things out for today. Your sixth period class is Computers with Mrs. Mallory St. Cloud. For this class, you're going to be rolling either an Investigation or a STEM check. Oh, thank you. All these natural 20s. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start things off. Damian. Uh, I rolled a 20, uh, nat 20. Nat 20, that is a 27. Yeah, that is a success. That's two of them, in fact. Very nice. Melody. Uh, modified 20. Yeah, uh, at least you've passed one class. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Salem. Uh, Salem got an 11, and then I rolled... For the card, so 14 altogether. 14 altogether is just a success. You barely managed to squeak by. Very well done. Cat? Uh, nat 20 for 25. 25. Very nice. That is two successes for you as well. Aisha? Nine. Nine. Ouch. That is a failure, unfortunately. So, everybody go ahead and tally up your successes, subtract your failures. Let me know what you got. We're going to start with Melody. Negative one. Ouch. Negative one. Oh, I dropped my sheet. Let me pull that up again real quick. There it is. Okay, negative one. There is always tomorrow, Melody. Unfortunately, you are gaining one stress point. Salem. Uh, positive two. Positive two. Hey, you're naturally talented. You're finally starting to figure things out. So you can remove one stress point if you had it. Cat. Uh, I think a positive two. Positive two. You're naturally talented as well. So if you have a stress point, you get to remove it. Aisha. Negative one. Ouch. Yeah, there is always tomorrow. You just didn't have a very good day. So you're going to add one stress point. Damian. Uh, I got four. You are student of the hour. You know you're good, but you're not usually this good. You've seriously impressed a friend or a rival. Gain one social point with any NPC and gain an inspiration point or remove three stress points. But you've already got a point of inspiration. Which means that bounces to somebody else. Who'd you like to give it to? Nice. Um, I will give it to Aisha. 
Aisha, Thank you. you now have a point of inspiration. Damian, who's uh, the NPC you're giving the social point to? Oh, good question. Um, how many social points do I get? Just one? Yeah, just one. Uh, let's do... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm torn. Uh, I'll give it to uh, Daniel Anderson, who's a soccer player. One of the soccer players. Okay, one of your friends at the soccer team. Love it. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi. Well, with that, the bell is ringing one last time to let you all know that the day has come to an end. Now, since, since today is Friday, um, there are two clubs that are making its appearance. The first one is dance practice, with which cat you are a, a member of. You do not have to do today's. As long as you've done one of them uh, this week, you're good. But you can if you want to. There is also the newspaper club, which, Melody, you are kind of an unofficial, not quite member of. <laughs> So that's going on as well. However, apart from that, there's also your free time phase. So I will go ahead and pop up those handouts to y'all. And uh, you can start thinking about that. But um, as that's happening, um, I imagine you're all kind of gathering together again at the end of the day, gathering your um, your book bags, putting stuff away at your locker. Melody, um, you have some business at the end of school, um, but um, you all can, of course, gather up first to discuss what you're wanting to do for your free time phases. Yeah, I, I want to find John and, or sorry, Salem, and let Salem know that the locker should be open. Well, then let's get this taken care of. Don't want to get caught. Yeah. Would you like me to kind of stand in the hallway watching for spies? <laughs> is the school still pretty, is it still pretty like bustling, like people coming and going, or is it pretty much cleared out by this point? Oh, yeah. No, it's right at the end of class. So you're going to have to wait a little bit before um, the, okay. the hallways clear up. Okay. Yeah, I, if you want to, I don't. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I mean, I've gotten into my friends' lockers before. No. I mean, never mind. Uh, yeah. So, if you want to take watch, I can do that. <laughs> I won't ask questions. <laughs> okay. Did you want to do it now, or you want to wait till more people leave? I wait till more people leave. That's fine. We'll keep low profile. Okay. Okay. Um, well, you do know that you have to do that, but apart from that, is there anything anybody else wants to discuss or um, decide before you move on to your free time phases? I think we should keep the ball rolling with uh, spending some time together and really working on, you know, team cohesion. I think pause I, up here, I, know okay. we've joked, I know we've joked about it before but i thought is this the one where you can like swap um the phases if we're i know we've joked about the slumber party <laughs> at salem's instead of doing like the investigation at night i didn't know if that was something that we were gonna do or is that possible um yeah technically well here's the the deal with that technically yes you can flip flop the um your put your uh, investigation phase and your free time phase however everybody has to agree to do it if cat okay. wants to go to dance club today then we do have to do the free time phase first because that happens right after school gotcha cat doesn't like skipping dance that makes sense to me okay So, are we going to do the sleepover Saturday, then? I guess that's what it sounds like we're going to have to do. So. After yeah. the game. 
Sorry. Oh, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, then I would like you all to kind of start looking at the free time activities. Um, Melody, you and Salem, um, you kind of break off from everybody else and tell them you'll, you'll meet up with them later. Or are you going to have everybody waiting around with you to do this? Mm, I think they're okay to all leave, but I do agree with Aisha that we should try to do something together, at least as many of us can. If you want to, we can all meet up at the arcade once we're done here. Yeah, I was gonna say that, or maybe. Yeah, you know, we're not saying that the locker thing is gonna take the entire free time, are we? No, no. no. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, we could do the same thing y'all did with my soccer uh, club thing, where we all go hang out with um, at at the dance team practice, and then that would give me an opportunity to rope them in to to see if they want to help with the the cultural festival, unless they're already doing something. So, I'm going to be real. Mechanically, I really don't want to um, relax with friends again. Word. Then I would do the arcade. I also don't know with dance practice if that's something you can watch, like a soccer practice. I don't know. Not really. Yeah. No. It's, especially if it's not like a, like a recital practice day. Yeah. Sure. That's fair. So you're all going to meet up at the arcade then? Sure. Sounds good to me. Okay. Sure. Except for Cat. Except for Cat. Well. Are you missing social or, or we need to be at 20 to do mm -hmm. formations, right? I have 19 with, the, with two of you mm -hmm. and higher for everyone else. <laughs> yeah. I have 19 with Kat and Aisha, so... I have 19 with Salem. Everybody else is enough. I have 18 with Aisha. We're close. Okay. Well, so, um, Aisha, Damian, uh, the two of you are gathering up your stuff and making your way out, uh, planning on meeting up with everybody at the arcade. Uh, Kat, you're making your way over to um, dance practice. And while you're doing that, Salem and Melody, the two of you are just kind of hanging out at the school, gathering up your stuff slower. That way you can wait until the rest of um, the student body makes their way out. Um, you do know where the the um, the locker is. and It's there on the first floor. And you, you kind of Head in that direction after you're you're fairly certain everybody is is gone. You make one pass just to see whether or not anybody's in the hallway. There's a couple kids that are left, so you the two of you like okay, we're just wait a minute. You both go into the bathroom and kind of hang out for a moment, waiting. Then eventually, you step out again after a few minutes, and the hallway is not clear. Because cool. you see James standing there at the locker. Um, I'd like the both of you to... Um, what is your passive stealth check? Uh, yeah, your passive stealths. Just 12. Mine is 16. Interesting. Okay, good to know. You see... Um, him standing there, he, he, he's at the locker. Um, the locker is closed in front of him. He kind of puts his hands uh, a, up against it, and he seems to be twiddling with the um, combination. After a second, it pops. He lifts it, the, the thing up, and he just kind of lifts it so it's just barely ajar. Do any of you um, say anything, or are you just um, waiting for him to leave? Oh, okay. 
Well, do you even? Oh yeah, I was about to say, does Salem even know who who James? Salem's never met this man. Salem's never met this guy. So, (laughs) from your perspective, you're you see this dude in a hoodie, um, who has just like opened a door in one of the lockers, um, and then he's left it closed. And you're pretty sure isn't that the one that? uh, Is that the one that's hers? It's pretty close to that. It's pretty close. Damn. Right, is this is this your friend, Melody? Yes, it is. That's right. uh, James Ronan. Several in our group have met him before. No shit. All right. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Salem's gonna go up there. Ah, uh, I. I want. I want to officially meet him. Just, just. It's a brief thing. Don't worry. I got this. He's already I, walking away. He seems to be heading down the um, hallway, the opposite direction of you. As you, when you peek uh, your head out again. Okay, I'm going to follow after Salem to make sure nothing crazy happens. Oh no! It's just, just for a second. I don't want to like interrupt you. I just want to say that's a really cool trick. Okay, so um, you are hurrying to try to catch up to him. Um, I would like for you to make an athletics check. Alright. No, I, he's gone. <laughs> well, that's fine. You, you hurry and make your way around the um, around the hall. He like you saw him um, just turning the corner, and you like kind of do a really quick sprint to try to um, to get there. And when you reach the the hallway, it is completely empty. Friend has got some good skills. I need to learn some of that. Maybe. Anyways, we're here for a task. Deal with it later. Um, and I'll go put the camera in the locker and shut it. Mm-hmm. Um, you've seen her locker. You've seen Bianca's locker before. It is filled Mm -hmm. with ghost pictures. Um, They're taped up all on her wall. There's a big poster of the Peterson brothers in the very back of it. Um, No coat, no uh, book bag, nothing like that. Most of the books are actually gone. Mm. Which probably doesn't surprise you. Yeah. No. But you were able to put the, uh, the camera in the locker and close it up again. Well, all right. Mission success. I have a Actually, lot of questions and I really want to ask them, but I'm going to be respectful just so you know. <laughs> oh, to me? Oh, yeah. To, this is Salem 2 Melody. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe eventually it would be okay to ask. <laughs> fine. That's fine. We'll get there. I am in no hurry. Can I take a peek in the locker really quick before we close it, though? Sure. What are you looking for? Uh, just if there's anything that seems different than the rest of the stuff, like something not ghost related. Okay, I like it. Make for me an investigation check. Okay. Oh, how 12. Yeah, and so you're kind of looking through there. Most of the stuff is, is kind of gone. All of her books and um, notebooks and things like that. Almost as though somebody cleared it out to take it to her while she's in the hospital. Um, you don't really find anything out of place or anything that might be like, huh, that's out of the ordinary. It, other than the fact that like it's covered with pictures of fake ghosts and and you do I will say with your twelfth you do notice that there is a little heart drawn around the elder of the two Peterson. <laughs> oh <laughs> Bianca has a crush. No wonder she won't give anybody the time of day in the Ghost Hunters Club. Alright. That's good enough for me. Absolutely. Well, with that, the two of you make your way out of the school as well. And the four of you start making your way to, um, what is it? To Bright Crystal Arcade. Now, while that's going on, um, Kat, let's go ahead and deal with our um, dance club. Cool. 
She will do moderate participation. Moderate pers- tip- Part- eh, I can't Participation. Speak. Participation. I can't speak. Okay, <sighs> I like it. Um, so that's going to allow you to add a plus 10 to your growth check, which is always useful. Um, that's going to be the D100 that we're about to roll. So why don't you go ahead and roll that and add a plus 10. So that would be 88 with the plus 10. 88, very nice. Yeah, um, that does give you a one club tally. Now the next thing I need you to do is roll an athletics con check. I had to change that. Sorry, sorry. Tabs, tabs, tabs everywhere. Athletics. Why can't I use tab? Okay. Con, con, con. Nineteen. Nineteen. That is a success. So you don't take a, an exhaustion, which is always helpful. Um, you also, since this is your free time phase, you get to add one social point to any NPC you want to. Okay. It'll be somebody in her club, her best friend in the club. Best friend. Tell us about your best friend in the club. I don't know. They've been friends for ages, and they did. They do dancing together, and, but she doesn't be hanging around with her so much anymore <laughs> because she's been busy with other things. So. Does she have a name? Uh, she does. Somewhere, um, Abigail, Abby, Abby, love Abby it. Larson. Um, now, my next question is: How many club tallies do you have? Um, not that many. So I get one club tally for that. Hmm. I don't know where my club tallies are. Is that CP? Yeah, but I was putting. I'm putting them in CP. So I only had three, so that would be four. Okay. Nice. Very nice. So you're halfway there to your um, to the next uh, resounding growth. Okay. Well, wow. your dance class um, goes pretty well. Um, I remember you you were talking about talking to them about helping out with um, the sports club and um, Aisha doing the festival for um, Lacey. So you probably spent some time talking with them as well, um, hyping up the idea. I'd like you to give me a persuasion check, but you do have advantage on this since you are a member of the club. I'm not sure how to roll with advantage. So roll twice roll and take twice. the higher. <laughs> Two fourteens. <laughs> Two fourteens is still enough. I'm, I'm going to say a fourteen <laughs> is enough. You are able to convince them that to uh, help out with the with this performance that. They'll assist the soccer club and actually show them how to do some dance moves that's easy enough for some soccer players to do. Um, and, and they'll help out with the choreography a bit. It'll give us some recognition. Absolutely. <laughs> well, by the time you're done, the team will be done with their time at the arcade. So let's turn to that real quick. Now, you're all going to the arcade. Um, all of you have a great time playing there, hanging out, having a good time with your friends. Um, when you go to the arcade, you get to heal one stress point. So if anybody got a stress point, you can get rid of it. The arcade is also a great place to try your hand at the crane and clog machine. Because you know how much the Wanderer loves cheap little tchotchkes from the claw gang. That's like one of his favorite things. And um, it's always a good time to do it at least once. So as you're all finishing up your, your afternoon together, just chilling and having fun and, and hanging out, the Wanderer's voice does remind you, hey, um, don't forget that they have the claw machine over there. That's like my favorite of all of the games here. If you get a prize, I'll be able to um, give you some stuff that'll help you out. Um, you know, you know, I love collecting those little tchotchkes. 
So don't forget to give it a try before you leave. To roll the crane game, all you have to do is roll a D100. Uh, can I say, or can I not roll on the crane machine and instead, like, I'll be spending time with everybody, but then when they're doing the crane game stuff, I want to read my, read the book. Interesting. Okay. So I won't do the full arcade Actually, I won't do it at all other than spending time with people. Yeah, okay. That's fair. I have no problem with that. You can absolutely spend some time reading the book. How many tallies do you have so far? I'm trying to find where I wrote them down. Let's see. I want to say three. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think it was three, but I'm trying to find it. Well, spending your free time phase to read this book will give you one more tally in that direction. I want to spend my inspiration point so bad so I can get a shard for free. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you if you want to. I want to. Uh, no, but it's probably wiser to hold on to it. Yeah. Okay. They use that... Um... Um... What's your student ability? Uh, strength and constitution checks. Yeah, you can use that for, yeah, save that for the soccer game. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah. That's part of what I'm thinking. Because they're, they're so rare. Getting two in one episode. Wild. Okay, I found it. It is three, so I have four now. Okay, so now you have four. Um, you're getting close to finishing reading through the book. Um... It's slow going, but it's not a super long read. Um, but you're not quite finished with it yet. You do learn a little bit more about um, good old Sirius Lee and his times in the Jordan River Valley. Um, he seems in the journal to be meeting with a lot of different spiritualists and mysticisms all throughout this region. And um, he keeps it, uh, he's. Um, communicating which what he calls um, others individuals from the other side from another plane of existence he seems to be really really getting into the the reading of of um, of um, and I'm sorry he's getting really really into the spiritualism and, and the mysticism of all of this he's really really fascinated with speaking to beings from the other side and he seems to be convinced that he's um, speaking with ghosts or demons possibly okay um, you're interruption. You're interrupted in your, your place in the book by uh, a few cheers as some of your friends do a decent job um, um, trying at the crane game. Uh, trying, anyway. Um, what did we all roll? Eighteen. Thirty-two. Sixty-one. Okay, so it wasn't a cheer that you heard. It was a loud, oh, man. <laughs> now, don't forget that um, since this is your free time phase, you do get to add a social point with somebody that you are hanging out with. Now I'm at 19. Salem time. We're bringing Salem to 20. Same. Okay. Well, that is the end of your free time phase. You've all managed to um, have a good time doing your various tasks. Unfortunately, you weren't able to win anything. But, uh, Melody, you're feeling like you're getting closer into the the depth of this book. Now then. It is now becoming later in the afternoon, heading towards evening. Which means that you are now in your um, investigation phase. 
So let's change our music to some investigation music. There we go. So as your investigation phase, this is the time of day that you do some research and try to find out information about where the cult might be, what they're up to, or just general information about what's going on in town. You have a few different places you can do that. You can always go to the library. You can just meet up around town and talk to people. There's a lot of things you can do in a town this size. My question to you all is, what do you want to do for your investigation phase? First of all, Kat wants to tell people what she found out at lunch. I don't know if she's had a chance to talk to them yet. Okay, fair enough. And I don't know if Eddie, if um, everybody found out about the soccer game either, where it's going to be. Yeah, no, we need to have that conversation. I've been waiting for <laughs> Damien to bring it up because I, she's like, if this is, doesn't come up, it doesn't come up. <laughs> I don't have to deal Kat's with like, it. I found, a, I found out something at lunch. <laughs> Apparently. Well, the mayor's been having an affair with an intern and he's been like... Let go. He's on a leave of absence. But apparently city council's taking it over. And city council, like, they got, um... They seriously influenced the Athletics Association's meeting last night for some reason. Mm. I don't know what in the world the city council has to do with the Athletics Association. But that just seems odd. <laughs> And apparently the mayor has been really useless. And there was another power outage on the Lower West Side. For like, from like 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Huh. The only investigating we did of the <laughs> power plant was that tour we did, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I think we might need to check it out at night. Getting I, in there. I'm fine with that. Yeah, we should be able to get in there. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, when Aisha and I were hanging out with the soccer club, we found out that the game's being moved from Coltrass to La Ropa. And, um, um, La Ropa. And I'm pretty it, that nothing is happening at Coltrast to warrant any concern. But after what we witnessed at the cemetery, I'm not so confident that Laropa High doesn't need some kind of brief investigation of some sort. Uh, I, 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 I'm still shaken by what happened at Restaurant Imperial, and I want to prevent that from happening to literally everyone I care about. So I, I think I'm going to go to the school to check it out. Um, what? Why would why they? Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, why in the world would the city council influence that? Because That's they all own right. trees and are outsiders. Great decision. The, they're, yeah. all, they're all cultists. <laughs> we need it's to take just down the 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 <laughs> What's the thing at the arcade? We limit the T word. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy every day, cat. <laughs> what we find out about the city council. Yeah. But, I mean, I feel like going to the city council would put our eggs in multiple baskets. I don't know. Well, they'll be closed right now. Not They're probably way. all at home. What time is it right True. now in game? In game time, um, it's about 6 p.m. Yeah, they're home. Yeah, they're home. They're city home. officials don't work past they're, four. They were home. <laughs> Never. They were home three hours ago. <laughs> So, so, Damian, you're suspicious because of them switching where the game's taking place? Yeah. To yeah. me, no, that really. seems more like something's going going on at Coltrast then because they're trying to divert everyone away from here. Or from Coltrast. Forgot we're not there anymore. <laughs> I mean, when you think about Restaurant Imperial and how many people were there eating, like they need people they need people energy and the amount of energy that's going to be at 
the biggest game of the year. Like, I think that's too good to pass up. And I, I think I think we need to make sure that we're doing our due diligence for the enormous crowd that's going to be there. Like that is a ton of spiritual energy. Just think, just think about the rivalry. Think about the animosity. Like everyone's going to be rooting for one side or the other. The amount of yeah, the amount of adrenaline and energy. I think that would be too much to for for the outsiders to pass up. And I think we have a responsibility to make sure that they can't harness or harvest even even what like like one iota of that i'm going no i'm i, I... I have your back 1000 percent. i think you bring up a lot of really good points and i'm not gonna let you go there alone so i, I will also join you to the high school so i agree but i think our time would be better spent doing that during the game on Saturday when the stuff would actually be happening if anything's happening and put our identities at risk I'm going to be playing I can't transform in the middle of a game well um, the, the wanderer's um, voice speaks up um you, you know that's not how it works right Damian um when you transform you you change your physical aspect completely. They can't recognize you. They also like don't perceive the transformation happen. Is the vibe I'm getting there, right? It's true. They yeah, really like, don't. I'm on the field and something happens on the field and I need to transform <laughs> while I'm on the field in front of other people. They're not going to see me oh. transform? No. Um, the magic that's involved... Um, is kind of like a perception filter. Um, your a, a normal uh, mortal's eyes want to just slide past it as though they can't quite make out the, the features. Um, whenever they try to look at, at something like that directly, well, their minds would just go mad. So uh, a, a natural um, defense mechanism that your species has developed is to kind of look past things that bother them. Um, the term, I think, is called cognitive dissonance. So I could transform in front of the class and nobody would know. Everyone thinks I'm still just sit sitting there myself. They, they wouldn't see you. They wouldn't see you at all. So chances, you, yeah. most of the time when uh, a human's mind is uh, confronted with things like panic, they tend to filter out what's there and... Um, honestly, human beings in general, um, all of your perceptions are based on assumptions. Like, you don't actually see reality around you at, at all. And, and I'm sorry, that's just a, a species trait. You see something you don't understand and you make assumptions about it to better quantify it in your mind. Um, but you're only seeing, like, a, a very small uh, percentage of what's there. And when your mind is in a panic, they tend to look past the little details and focus on you know what's making them panic or what's making um or trying to get away from the thing that's making them panic and then the brain just kind of makes up stories to go along with that and to agree with that the bias that they've already created in their minds okay so what i hear all of you saying all, all uh, uh, three of you i guess saying is that it would be better to have the fight in a crowded arena, putting everyone there at risk, than to go right now and ensure that nothing's going to go wrong. No, I, I'm saying that it feels pointless to go tonight if what they're planning is happening tomorrow. There won't be anything there tonight. They might be setting it up. But we've seen them make preparations. Like, we've seen... like. If we if they've made runes or anything like that, we don't know what is and isn't there. And yeah, I think assume... that's my point. I think that's why we so. should go now to to rule it out. If we don't see anything, if we don't find anything, if our crystals don't glow, you know, great, we go home. And I mean, if nothing else, it'll give everyone a peace of mind. We we go there, we waste some time and find nothing. Then, great. But the power outages have also been happening like this entire 
two weeks or however long it's been and we haven't really done anything about it. Would the high school have been in the area with the power outage? So we, we pick one for investigation phase. We go to the high school for the investigation phase and then we patrol, sorry. We go to the high school for a couple hours. If we find nothing, we go to the, the, the we go patrol the, the, the power company. And then we're hitting two, you know, two birds with one stone one night. Or y'all go to the power company and I'll go to the high school and I'll meet you at the power company if I find nothing. Well, you're talking about investigation phase? Outsiders mm -hmm. don't even come out until patrol phase. And if my crystal doesn't glow until the evening, great. I will pop in the car and drive over to the to the power company. Well, if we're not going to be able to detect any uh, outsiders oh. till we go on patrol anyway, we might as well spend our time investigating things we can actually learn about and focus on that once we're done. Mm -hmm. Why we all just go to the library mm -hmm. and try and synthesize what we know? Okay. I mean, I, we could do that, but I also think we could investigate the power plant. Unless I'm, I down, think we should I'm, wait. I'm down for investigating the power plant if we think uh, we can do that again after last time at, during the day. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true. I wish we could wait till night. <laughs> The thing is, if, if we can't investigate the school because the outsiders wouldn't be out yet, then what's the point of the power station? It's the well, same thing. I'm well... going gonna, gonna to interject for a second because it's not even about the outsiders' energies. If they're setting up stuff, regardless of whether or not there's energy, I think we've seen enough things to know what they have and haven't been messing with. We So we can at least look for physical evidence, even if we can't get the magical essence. How far away is Laropa High and the, the power company? Pretty far. Let's see. You are all at um You're like at the at the um Arcade. Yeah, you're all at the arcade right now. Um Laropa High School is about not quite twenty miles away. Um it's down on the lower east side of the city, so you'd have to cross downtown to get there. Um, the Laropa Power Company is technically a little bit closer. Um, it's across um, the northern yeah, part really... of Laropa, and um, when you cross the river, it's right there on the river's edge, located about the upper east side. Was, was the high school within the power outage area? Uh, no, last night's power outage was at the lower west side. Um, my thought is, if they are doing something at the high school, we're going to see stuff there after, like, there will be more stuff to find if we wait a little bit longer. We're going today. Tonight. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait until tonight. Either now, later, sometime tonight, we need to check it out just to make sure. I mean, if there's nothing, there's nothing. Yeah, that's but my We don't want them to blow up the whole place. Maybe they have bombs. We don't know. <laughs> and we would have time to, like, get to the high school, check our crystals, see if we, you know, see anything. And if nothing is alarming, then we go to the power plant and we finish the patrol phase at the power plant. They're only a half hour away, like, between each other. I should just give Melody this really apologetic look. <laughs> oh, Salem is definitely... Do Can I do an insight check? Melody doesn't react, <laughs> though, I was about to yeah. say. So. Um, I mean, you can... Um, I will roll a deception against you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what this is going to be, is... Um, I mean... Uh, 
Salem, you've been sitting there watching. You can make an insight check on the two of them having this conversation. Um, Aisha, I want you to make a deception check for me. Dice told a story. Yeah, I, I would say that, yes, you, you did notice that there was a look exchanged between Melody and Aisha. Or I would at least say, Aisha gave it to no. Melody. Yeah. Melody yeah, didn't, yeah. didn't react at all. Those are the words. A look was given, not exchanged. Yeah, a look, a yeah. look was given from Aisha to Melody that Melody just seemed to not react to. I guess all I'm saying is if you guys can tell me that the power plant is a bigger risk than the high school, like if you can give me a reason to believe that, then we do all power plant today. Sure, fine. But if something happens at that game, like, I don't know. I, I, I just don't think I'll forgive myself for not having done something sooner. It's going to um, be family and classmates and... Yeah, I think it's a, like... I'm not saying that it's a bigger risk. I'm saying that we're already going to be there tomorrow anyway. And the power plant we've been putting off all this time and it seems to just be getting worse. I don't know if it's worse, still the same. Yeah, power is... Well, it's more locations. It's true. And for longer. Okay. Could be the entire city. It could be part of the plan for the soccer game. It could be the city council. <laughs> or the church. Well, I mean, who really believes in the separation of church and state? The, the city power council run, runs the church. <laughs> I'm um, saying the church runs the city council. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised plant. if. <laughs> oh, so to go along with what I was saying, the power plant is not something we can investigate during the day because we've already tried that. We need to investigate it at night. But the school, like I said, we're already going to be there tomorrow. So if something's going to happen, we'll be there to stop it. I just don't like the idea that, that we're, when provided with the opportunity to step in in advance, we would choose to not. I do think that there are multiple ways to step in in advance. I'm not convinced mm -hmm. that going to the school would result in whatever's being planned at, um, the soccer game to it just seems too easy interesting and the restaurant we were there in the thick of things and and a lot of was... people got hurt mm. a lot of people got hurt David people died so yes but it also was like, would we, I don't think we would have known anything was even happening if we'd gone there sooner. If we didn't go and find the beast in the belly of it, basically. It could have been happening for a while. We don't know. But that's my point. Like, like we didn't know. So we didn't go. We went when we knew we could go. We know that something, like we we have evidence that something's going on at La Ropa High because the, the 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 team is like you saw those kids. If that happens to my sister, my family, forget forgiving myself. I'll never forgive you. Well, it's not. I lost my train of thought. Hold on. Um, sorry, this is hard because I I had a good thing in my head and now I lost it. Uh, Don't you know that when that happens, uh, yes. Worse. 
Under pressure. I'll just say this up loud <laughs> while Kira regains her thought. Of, Salem's just picking up a very just everything Aisha's saying. She just does not know how to oh, feel he, about the words she's saying. He is getting the eye. He is. Oh, it is intense right now. He knows you know something and you are not. I it's... don't know anything. I have, I have a vague agreement that I've made without knowledge. It's the worst part. Hmm. <laughs> We're not, we're not gonna actually we just need to figure out the next step and the next step should be getting more information so I don't know maybe I'll go back to True Games and find out what's going on with this beta and see if they have any more information oh I remember what I was gonna say okay so we don't really have evidence anything has to do with the school though we it's the soccer team so if we really want to investigate the soccer team we need to find where they're practicing. Like we haven't had any evidence that anything's at the school except for now that they switched the locations, which isn't necessarily evidence because how do we know that the people who were involved in that have anything to do with any of this? Because they're cultists. I have an idea. Find me a Laropa High Jock and I will flirt that practice location out of him or her <laughs> okay uh i want to go to jim's gym sure <laughs> interesting so okay. this i can think that they might be exercising and working out that is privately owned and um and we might find some some soccer players and then check the high school after during the next phase. Well, let's find oh, out. I'm not where they're from. practicing. Let's, let's no, find one, out one, step from at the <laughs> one step at a time. I think that's a great idea. Let's try to find them. Uh, so my vote is Jim's Jim. But, you know, people can try other places as well. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Do we want to look around the arcade to see if we see any of them here? The thing is, like, they're all practicing. So I don't think they're going to be doing anything like social, like... The well, way the coach like, was running them, they're practicing sun up to sundown. My know? theory is we find like, I don't know, someone on the basketball team who will naturally know where the soccer team is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like jocks hang out at the gym. Yeah. That's my thought. Okay. Sounds like you've got a clear direction for the start of your investigation phase. We will find out what happens and where you all go from there. <laughs> in two weeks when we're back with another episode of Magi Nights. It's too far away. I want to know now. I know. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 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 mm, uh, we'll have to talk after. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Um, but until then, thank you to everyone who watched this evening. We very much appreciate you tuning in and hanging out with us. Come back in a couple weeks to find out what our heroes uh, discover on their investigation phase and where it leads them from there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, as always, I like to go around the table and have everybody tell us who they are and where we can find them on the Internet. And, uh, Los, you're the one who did the recap, so why don't you go first? Yeah, uh, I am Los. I played Damian tonight, which was a lot of fun. Uh, Sorry, I was off camera a bunch. Uh, hopefully, I'm feeling better in two weeks. Um, you can find me on socials at PDX Homebrew. Uh, and I'm not doing anything else. This is it. This is taking all my, you know, yeah. all my screaming energy. All my, that's it. I love Ran rants. I love <laughs> Random Rhapsody exclusivity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kira, you're next. Okay. I'm Kira. I'm the assistant creator of. Sorry, I was writing notes, so I was not prepared <laughs> of Magic Knight's Awakening. Um, and you can find any of our social media on our website, which is magi-knights.com. And also links to uh, buy the PDF or the print-on-demand copies from Drive Through RPG. And then I'm also the author of the children's book, My Dad the Game Master, which you can find on Amazon. Love it. Uh, Sail or John, you're next. 
Time to call you Salem this time. I am the same. We have fully become one. Um, I'm John. You can find me here every other Monday and Wednesdays. Uh, Mondays, I play Draven for a Pathfinder 2E campaign. And Wednesdays, I'm Salem. You can also find me on Instagram at creativepanda88 or at uh, Blue Sky at jpo or johnpoeartist.bluesky.all all that fun stuff. So. Right on. Uh, Kat, um, Ash, you're next. Uh, I'm Ashlyn. I played Kat, and uh, you can find me here every two weeks. <laughs> like I said, love that random Rhapsody exclusivity. <laughs> Hannah, you're next. Oh, I'm not exclusive. Um, I go all over the place. Uh, but you can find me anywhere on the internet uh, most of the time at Destiny Trio INC, um, specifically for games. You can find me here every other Wednesday, um, except for next uh, bye week um, on the 24th. I have a work obligation uh, that I will not be able to attend here. Um, Got to figure that out. But otherwise, um, every second Sunday, so next one, the 14th, if you want to see me play someone who's completely different, head on over to Singularity Roleplay, where I play my trans hacker girl, who's a rift of Loki in a City of Mist game. Very awesome. We will miss you next game. I'm going to miss y'all. Well, as always, I am Matthew R. Dawson, your friendly neighborhood host and game master here on the network. You can always find me every Monday and Wednesday right here doing this. It's a consistent thing. I love to do it. Other than that, you can find me um, this Saturday. I'm going to be over on All on the Table TTRPG. Um, they are a trans um, rights ac advocacy group that is ex uh, mainly focused on uh, trans uh, visibility within the TTRPG space. Um, I'm playing Pathfinder on that one. I play Tybal Toldrum, a catfolk rogue. We actually just did a uh, one-shot uh, for me here uh, last Tuesday that should be coming up here sometime in the next few weeks. So I'll definitely rem remember to plug that one as well. But you can find me this Saturday over on All on the Table, and that is at 3 p.m. Central. Other than that, I'm in a lot of other places, but you can always find me on my socials. Now, on behalf of everyone here in the Magi-Knights and everyone in the Random Rhapsody crew, I just want to say, thank you, folks. It's been a delight. So long. Good luck. And until next time, may your dreams be infinite. And good night. Good night. 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 Bye, everybody. Night. Yeah.